travel lovers. Hi, so today is a very exciting day. Today is the day when we leave Manila as we're heading to Cebu. Now, we are not flying there, which would be the easiest option, mm. but we're taking a ferry. We've yeah. chosen to go with Two Go Ferries, which is probably the most common and the cheapest company here in Manila. Yeah. We've just arrived to Pier 4 here at Manila Port. We boarded the ship. Yeah, and I think we're ship. about to sail in, a, in the next like two hours or so, yeah. Yeah, so our journey time is going to be about 23 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, we're meant to set sail at 9am and then arrive in Cebu at 8am tomorrow. Where was the last time uh, that we took a ferry? From Manila to Caron. Oh, okay, yeah. And that was absolutely fine. Yeah. I think that was obviously less time, but it was a really nice experience. So that's why we didn't really mind catching a ferry today. So yeah. really happy, really excited to explore new areas. I know that not many people stay in Manila for such a long time as we did, for like yeah. over a month. But we really enjoyed our time there, didn't we? I actually really like Manila now. Yeah. Um, I think we said when we first arrived that we wasn't really too sure when we were here in 2016. But yeah, just a bit of time, um, a bit of patience, yeah. you know, just getting used to the traffic and yeah. just, I think the pace of life, I think yeah. you just get into it. and. Uh, We've really loved our area, yeah. Pablo Shan. Oh my god, I'm so happy that we see yeah. it. Like especially in Makati, it's amazing. Like there's a bit of a modern and a bit of like nitty gritty yeah, which areas, we love. which we love. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. a mixture of both. It was really amazing. Do you want to do a shout out to Z Hostel who was hosting us uh, yes. this week? Yes. So thank you so much for Z Hostel. They actually allowed us to stay for like good six days in their hostel, yeah. um, which was really nice of them. We normally don't stay in hostels because we're a couple and we normally need a quiet place to work but because we're off teaching we decided to do something different this time yeah so we work with them and they kindly put us in a private room and in a dorm so we got to experience two different kinds of accommodation and it yeah. is amazing zoo hostel is literally like the best place to meet new people yeah uh, to go up the rift of bar and have like sunset cocktails yeah uh, they also include breakfast and what I really like about Zeal Hostel is that they have these bracelets that you can load with money so you don't actually have to use cash. I like that too. And you can just like um, tap. Tap, yeah, yeah. If you want to get a drink or food, it's really, really convenient. So yeah. so yeah, guys, thank you so much for allowing us to stay at your place. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, I suppose we're just going to wait for this uh, ship to set sail. Yeah, um, I think we're just going to walk around. I really want yeah. to explore. That's, I, that's what I always do whenever we go to the airports or to like terminals. You just walk or off. You just walk off. Yeah, yeah, like see what's around. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll do that and then uh, just take it slowly and I suppose you guys are coming with us. So yeah. Very exciting. Let's go. Time for our 23 hour journey to begin. Let's go. office because we have to have a printed version of our e-ticket so this is just a tip for everyone else they would not this. accept this no so we're just gonna have to fill in this form to get a printed copy of the ticket was a proper frisky uh, search there, wasn't it? Yeah. She went deep down into uh, deep my down shorts. Into my bra and everything. Yeah. yeah. I think here was where they take a picture of you and you have to present your ID. Yeah, and show the documents, I think, yeah? Yeah. And then I think after that we're through, we just need to wait. Yeah, because I can see the ferry here. Yeah, I don't yeah. think the camera can pick it up, but yeah, it's massive, isn't it? Yeah. It's called St. Pope John Paul II. Yeah. Yeah, wow. <laughs> And there's our ferry, all the way to Cebu. So we can go straight in, yeah? Yeah, you just go in, yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so this whole waiting area, 
we can skip because we can board straight away, which is great. Goodbye, Manila. <laughs> They're so kind here. They're helping you up the stairs. They are, yeah. Just be careful. Stairs? Yeah? Okay, thank you. Bye. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Welcome aboard, ma'am. Thanks, Thanks, Lee. Hi. Like your hair. Thank you. Like your uniform. <laughs> Do you know where you're going, Justina? No, she didn't tell me. I think we're in the um, mega value section. <laughs> mega value. Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. F30. We're sad. Yeah, this is yeah. The worst one. but we got mega value, Justina. <laughs> As they say, you get what you pay for. So we've searched this entire room of beds, and we have found our beds right by the TV, which is very loud. <laughs> it is really loud, actually. But what we did last time is, as soon as the ship started moving, we realized that there are so many empty bunk beds yeah. that we could move yeah. and I think that's exactly what we're gonna do this time. I if there's so. any like free bunk beds somewhere in the corner away from the TV, we'll move. But show everyone your bed then Justina. This one. Yeah. For now. For now, yeah. Top bunk. My bunk is here for now. Yeah but it's so how loud the TV is. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really nice to travel by um, by ferry because yeah. you get like to go outside and just kind of see the world pass by True. and I think we're kind of going in and out through the islands mm. so I think it's going to be scenic yeah I hope yeah. so I don't know what's worse, the bed or our sleeping bags that we've had for like two years. Yeah. <laughs> the bed. <laughs> yeah. So we've moved now, we've got yeah. bottom bunks. Until told otherwise, but this seems to be much better, doesn't it? Because yeah, there's, there's no so TV. many empty beds, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. Oh. There we are. So, I didn't sleep last night, guys. Well, that's a lie, I slept for two hours. I was um, up until two, editing a video. And then I woke up at like 4 a.m. to upload the video so that it goes live when we're on the ship. So I didn't sleep at all. Because they said that you need to arrive here four hours before departing, which is a lie. You don't need to be here four hours before, but it helps to be at the port at least two hours before, just like boarding a flight or anything, because you need to do all the stuff that we did, like print out your tickets and pay the terminal fee and have the security check and etc etc so yeah so I'm really tired so it's about 9am now yeah <laughs> oh there is actually a queue where we can get our linen here no not USA do I sound American? <laughs> <laughs> not really I just know uh, Salamat um, yeah and delicious is like a masar, masar masarabia. <laughs> Thank you. 
I just bought myself a pot of noodles because I'm quite hungry now. Water. It looks like I'm about to eat some jellyfish or seaweed. <laughs> uh, chicken noodles or I should say chicken soft and chon. So guys, I've just woken up after five hours. I didn't really have a choice because there's this guy walking around with a loudspeaker, but you can hear him. So yeah, I've been asleep for five hours. It was amazing. And uh, Justina said that she had bought me lunch. So when I wake up, I get lunch, which is amazing. Lunch in bed. <laughs> yeah, lunch in bed. So it comes in this cute little container here. Are you ready to see what's inside? I'm going to show you guys before I look. Ta <laughs> okay, so what do you think? Because Justina said it's not that good, right? <laughs> mm, I think only because when I had it was cold, and obviously it's yours was going to be cold freezing. too, yeah. When did you have it? How many hours ago? I had it at one o'clock, so an uh, hour and a half ago, yeah. Ready for the big reveal? Oh, what's the sauce? What is that meat or? Yeah, that's just oh. meat. Yeah. Meat. What kind of meat? Uh, what kind of meat? I have no idea. Wait a second. It's hard to say. It kind of looks like bangoos, but deep fried. Is no, it's definitely then? not fish. No, definitely not fish. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It might be then. chicken. <laughs> that's chicken. That's chicken. Okay, let me. <laughs> Oh. It's not chicken, is there? It's kind of nice. It's kind of got a curry sauce on the top. I'm the rice it. is okay. I'm taking it. I like all of it. Does that make me a savage? Mmm. It's kind of like fake chicken. Like, yeah. Like tofu chicken. Yeah, like processed meat. Yeah. Like the corn version of chicken. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I kind of like it. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Misha, did you yeah. know that we're also getting dinner between really? six and seven, and we're also getting a breakfast tomorrow morning? So, so we, basically, being fed three times. So, are you telling me that I get to enjoy this two more times? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this, honestly, guys, is better than the food served at Fire Festival. I'm not even joking. Tonight, 
but also eating for free. So it's all covered in the cost of our initial payment of this trip. So really, it's a bargain. Getting from Manila to Cebu is really, really cheap. Doing it this way. We're gonna watch some Netflix movies as we downloaded some on our phones and I guess we're gonna catch you tomorrow guys. So I'm gonna say good night and yeah, speak to you tomorrow. Bye! Just ignore how I look because I've literally woke up about 30 seconds ago, not even joking. Down there. Or over there, I don't know. So yeah, I suppose we better get off now. Um, all in all, I think that was really, really good. It went really quickly, the food was alright. And uh, we slept like logs, so can't really complain about that. Oh, let's go sleepyhead. people around here. Yeah, I think that's where they're going. All right, let's go this way then. Yeah. It's like Dexter, guys. Oh, goodbye, ship. You've been good to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not bad. Justina's just woken up, so she's a bit shy at the moment. Isn't that right, Justina? I still can't see anything. You my can't eyes see. are like glued. Aww. I need to like get a shower, wash my face. You might not be able to get a shower till later though. Uh, Gotta go uh, straight into work. No! It's a working day today, guys. I'm gonna cancel my lesson. No, you're not. Miss Justine never cancels. So sleepy. Bless you. You slept like a little baby though. You didn't, you literally did not wake up all night, even when there was children screaming, snoring. I did not hear going. anything. Wow, again, such a deep sleeper. You can sleep anywhere. Here's Cebu from our window. There we are. Okay guys, so we really hope that you enjoyed our journey all the way from Manila to Cebu. Mm -hmm. I think all in all, it has been about 26 hours yeah. from leaving our hostel to this hotel. Yeah. So that's really not too bad. Um, like we said, it's really comfortable. It's 30 pounds per person, including free meals, mm -hmm and a night's sleep, so really no complaints about that. Um, so I suppose we'll say goodbye because we're here now working, but then we're going on an adventure at the weekend. Yeah. But in between the week, uh, we're gonna film some videos as well. So yeah. make sure to leave a comment down below to what you want us to see and do here in Cebu. I know we want to try Lech on right, that mm -hmm. is like high up our list, so mm -hmm. uh, if there's anything else that we haven't thought about, just leave a comment because it always helps us understand the area a little bit more. So thank you so much for watching this video guys, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like it, share it with your friends and make sure you stay subscribed because you know what I'm going to say, we bought so many more Filipino adventures coming your way. <laughs> and as always, cheers to freedom! Woo!